Well, today is National Serpent Day. So, of course, we're talking all things snakes. According to the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, there are nine different types of snakes in Maine. None of them is venomous. You won't see too many during this time of year because they burrow underground to avoid the cold temperatures. There was one snake that captured the state's attention back in 2016, went by the name of Wessie. Yeah, how could we forget? Now, we still don't know if it actually was seen or not, but a lot of people are looking for clues or trying to take a photo. Here's Dustin Lukowski's story after some snake skin was found in Westbrook near where the serpent was reportedly spotted. First of all, where is that? So that was found somewhere right near this park. Oh. Where did, where did it go? That's the question everyone wants answered. Just where did Wessie go if he or she is real? The snake buzz was revived with the sighting of this large snake skin near Riverbank Park's boat dock yesterday. Michael Rice says he's seen the elusive reptile and also says it's no hoax. I looked across those bushes that hang way out and I was using my binoculars and I seen the snake's head in the water popping out of the water. But that was three weeks ago. Plenty of time for someone to find a snakeskin and leave it here, right? To find out how likely it is Wessie is still slithering around, we went to an expert who says he's doubtful. In order to get a shed that's laid out like that, typically it's going to be wrapped around something. If it's not wrapped around branches or things like that, you'll get a shed skin that'll be all wrapped up, curled up like this. And in order to get it to be laid out like these other ones that I've got here, you would need to actually unroll them which you have to do right after the animal sheds. Rob also says chances it exists are slim because it would have already been seen again. Pythons and boa constrictors don't move quickly, and even the small ones are pretty hard to miss. This is six feet long. Yeah. And to, to hide something bigger than this is almost impossible. That's what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it'd be really tough. But for the Wessie believers, there are far fewer doubts. It's real. I'm not one to make up stories. Some park visitors already have a plan if they find it. Capture it and hold it by the, um, the neck so it doesn't bite us. Though, if it's anything like my new scaly friend, we don't have much to worry about. In Westbrook, Dustin Blikowski, News Center. Now, besides the search, Wessie had an impact on Westbrook. Yeah, the community held a triathlon nicknamed the Wessie-thon because part of the course was where that snake was reportedly seen. And then the brewery, Mast Landing, made a Wessie beer. It was a West Coast style IPA. This video is from a catch and release party where people got to try the beer before it was available to buy. There's even a bar now called Wessie's Den. Yes, there is. And some people are more comfortable around snakes than others. Mr. Drew, who appears on 207 regularly, is one of those people. And Samantha York will likely always remember his segments for the rest of her life. This one here has been around like the necks of millions of children. Here, we'll have some fun with you. Yeah, why don't you oh, come around, Sam? Oh, God. There you go, Sam. Oh, God, oh, God. What do I do now? Nothing. What just do I smile. do now? <laughs> Act like you're having fun. Okay. I get, I get to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. No, okay, just kidding. Yeah. Just kidding. Okay. Just, uh, if you could get back by like midnight or so, that would yeah, be great. Yeah. Oh, my God, I touched his head. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you want the snake? Do, do, do you need to help? Are you there? Okay? Yeah, it's a, it's a great accessory, everyone. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> I'm fine. Who, who else do we have? She really settled into that. I would yeah. be freaking out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would trust. I, I'm actually, so from all of that, the thing I took away that surprised me is that there are only nine species of snake in Maine. Oh. I would have thought more, I guess. Makes me love Maine even more. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking during the story. I said, you guys remember when you were a kid and you used to find the snake skin and be so exciting? And Zach goes, nope. <laughs> <laughs> exciting to the other kids. 